here on the waterfront. The city lights look a little dimmer tonight. That's because we're looking at them through a layer of haze and smoke. But the warnings about the air quality didn't keep everyone inside. Definitely like hazy and like cloudy. It almost looked like really overcast, but it was hot. So like, I don't know, it's definitely worse. It kind of smells a little bit off. At the skate park under the freeway in Soma, Sam Lax is trying to perfect a grind, but almost didn't come out today to practice. So like when I got up in the morning, I thought that it was fog and I thought it was gonna be way colder, but I go outside and it's super warm because of the heat wave and it just, it kind of, it kind of smells like smoke. That's because smoke from the wildfires here in California and in Oregon is blowing into the bay. Combine that with all the pollution the area generates, take away our normal ocean breeze, and that's what's creating this bad air problem. It means more stuff in the air you don't want to breathe and less visibility, which is definitely noticeable for people out enjoying the day at Dolores Park. Looking over to the East Bay, uh, the hills over there, um, looks like it's a little bit foggier uh, today, a little bit hazier. We've been seeing more asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, people with chronic lung conditions. Doctors so say people with breathing issues should stay inside an air-conditioned space. When you breathe in the particulates, it irritates your lungs. If you can't make mucus because your lungs are drier, that makes e things even worse. But for the folks out at Dolores Park and the skate park today, the draw of a warm San Francisco day outweighs the warnings. There's not much we can do about it besides, like, the choice we make. So, I mean, you got to live in it. Like Paul said just a few minutes ago, that ocean breeze will come back tomorrow, meaning that all of that smoke and smog will blow right out of our area. On the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen.